Alright, so here's the new guys. We are here back at uh, Vampire Master Bloodlines. If I remember correctly, we just left off where we did a criminal violation and the police are out to get us right now. So, we gotta hide in the sewers for a few minutes here and hope for the best. Try to get in there. That sucks. That's gross. That's just like rain water. Can I like look at it? No. Okay. Oh, this one. There we go. Man, it's big. It's a big place. But the police are giving up. So. That is helpful. I don't know where this goes. Uh, I don't know where this goes. Oh, we're behind the club. Okay. My watch. I'm not talking to you. Nice night out, huh? I like that we have grass crunching sounds. That's a nice new sound, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go to the Skylight first. Let me go talk to the um, the people at the place the thing <sighs> also I really hope that it in this plus patch that I have they did not get rid of fat Larry fat Larry is the greatest character of all time oh what's in here oh it's just a pass through okay Anyway, we're gonna go talk to everybody at the last round. I'm gonna need to remember to put. Shop Discord. Uh, I'm gonna need to remember to put um, fun audio in place of in post editing. Also, we got our friend. We need to go talk to our friend. Can we not talk to our stop sign friend? Is this not the, the right one? I s I'm still trying to figure out what that is. L'Opera? L'Opera? Oh, is this one our friend? I do not... I do not mean to swing. Oh, there we go. No, you stop. No, you stop! Stop it! Ah! Stop! Okay. That was fun. That always said you had berry sauce. How dare Fox dropped. Man, I don't I don't fucking know what any of this shit means anymore. It's nice and <gasps> Hi. Well, well, looky who made it back in one piece. How it's Santa Monica, Me. you know. Uh, the lady who's sad and beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of skee-ball tickets down on the pier there? Yeah. I looked around a wooden ball, but a cute, a cute, pre, that one. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. I'll be too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Yeah. Right as red. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old Oh god, I gotta sneeze. Alive, huh? Don't 
gonna make you just wanna rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that just means? <laughs> <laughs> nice hooped in on death, Steven. Yeah, Wings. not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> you said you guys let those sabat go too. Nines must be getting soft. How could you pass up that kind of fun? Why does Nines keep saving me? Well. Uh, he was left sireless, too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. How did this bot find me? Someone must have put a word out. Now, here's an interesting little scenario. I'm just gonna run this by you, see what you think. What if the prince got the word out to the Sabbat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? Uh, is that the terrible truth? Hey, it's just a theory, man, but who else is gonna be is watching a game so theory? closely? Knowing where you're going and all that. Number one. I'm not saying he's working with the Sabbat. I know he ain't. But he sure as hell could have put the word out there on the street where the Sabbat would pick up on it. Uh, just chew on that. Um... Do your words hold any more? No. Oppressive, this news. But it's how the Camarilla works, kiddo. Trust me. I've been dealing with these slimy shits for a few centuries now. Uh, three. Do you know the Elizabeth Dane? Why? Planning on visiting? Uh, the prince sends me. Oh, really? Yeah. The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Uh, tell me more. The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires, that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him at the root. In our centuries, he's been sawing logs? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. They're like, grounded. This is... Uh... Number one. It's more than that, kiddo. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end, the apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna. And the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Uh... Is this real? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. Uh... I wonder if there's weight to these words. Mm. Well, kiddo, I guess you're gonna be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, Discord. good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> yeah, I won't. I'll try. Why did he send me to his Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Uh. Why would he hate me? It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Uh, don't you follow the codes? Ah, <laughs> oh, kid, I never answered a no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. That's fair. That is fair. Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vents who are born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. 
have you public relations, whatever? Yeah, man, it's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That seems to work. People dig it. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is the boss. <laughs> That's rich. Um... Even a jester may prayed in the king's cloak. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Um... Are the little demons jumping? Kid, we've lived in California, some of us, for over a hundred years, and we've kicked the Camarilla's ass out of town before. Seems like every time they smell blood, they're back trying to take over. And who is we? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. That's got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um... I seek knowledge. That's us, so I'm told. What'd you want to know? Um, how long have they raged against the machine? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? Powers in knowing the past. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy. But some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. Um. My shadow darkens other domains right now. Um. Why is she not there? Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla benevolence. Why is what does it? What the prince have his little bitch doing today? The jester plays his little games. Jester. What? What the hell did you say? Oh, uh, you're Malkavian, right? Oh, you're doubly screwed. Crazy as hell and the prince's bitch. Little pawn, you say? Yeah, you got that right. But you're not as crazy as you look. Greetings, Helter Skelter. Huh? How did... Damn. Malkavians and a goddamn insight. That shit is creepy. Anyway, yeah. My name is Skelter. I do my part to keep California a free state for the Anarchs. Why do you curse them? The Camarilla just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. The masquerade and all that. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, don't you? Um. Twelve plagues and calling of the Gilded Calf? Yeah. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that shit don't always fly. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn commandment? Your words were truth like a well-fitted truss. Right. See, we weren't meant to live like that. Man, I followed someone else's rules for three years in Vietnam. But it wasn't until after the embrace that I understood real oppression. Tell me of Entropy's child. Anarchs, we are the only ticket to free living in the afterlife, my friend. Um. Do you also hide under the masquerade? I don't need to bear my fangs to feel good about myself. The masquerade is a fruity Camarilla label. Other than that, I ain't got no problem with it. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. Hallelujah and holy rollers. You know, speaking of the masquerade, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. Tell me, tell me, tell me, come on, tell me the answer. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. It's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. What is the name of the ghoulish girl? Her name is Pat. 
She hangs out in the clubs downtown. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Uh, what dark deed should be done? She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret, you hear? Yeah. Uh... I will take this mission. Alright, have fun. I fucking hate I'd Patty. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know her side. Just let me know when it's done. Sure. Okay, I'm going upstairs. I want to see who's up here. There she is. Okay. It's about chasing you in here, Cammy. You guys are. Are you the damsel? I'm damsel. Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass. Sure. The only words spoken were in my head. Lunatic. I give you a piece of my mind, seeing as how you're just another do girl for the Camarilla. Shit. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you mouths call a brain, does it? Nope. So, is something plaguing you? What? Weird you say that, yeah. You might say something is plaguing me. A plague bearer, as a matter of fact. Plague bearer? This word is unfamiliar to me. A plague bearer's a fool, but doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. This is just a, hitting a little too close to home. I don't know. Uh, can't you just shoot the d dirty carrier pigeon away? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Uh, I owe you. One of our boy's ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Um, I will touch the school as my secret places. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Um... Number one. Ugh, fucking camis. I just want to kill them. You showed up. Good. Here's what I got to tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. More. You got a right to know the score. For the Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power, then those kindred sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. What it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Um... The prince is not the head vampire? LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix is just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Uh, let me hear the, let me hear your truth. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. no. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. What's happening now? The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. Free state? Well, I usually just walk off stuff anyway. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Um... Meet with them, baloney all around. I got their meeting right here. Uh, you and uh, isn't this where your theme music kicks in? 
The hell with you then. You go on back to your tower. Say what you want about me, but not one of us in this bar is a no-good two-faced backstabbing would-be tyrant like that son of a bitch LaCroix. He and his Camarilla are on borrowed time. You tell him nines, Rodriguez. Well do. So. Um. I hey, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold Thought on. I told you to get back to your tower. I'm sorry. I did. Along. I think Lacroix's shoes need polishing. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Okay, whatever. Sorry, I didn't. I want to be a part of the Anarchs. I fucking hate LaCroix. LaCroix sucks. I said the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Whatever. I fucked up. Oh, this is where the guy is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hi. I found you. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? Yeah. I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite Damn. some time. Have you now? Ah, a child of Malcav, no less. Do dark visions cloud your sight, young one? Yeah. Shattered reflections of your clan father's mind. Yeah. The glass is cracked, but strangely clear. There is truth in your words, Neonate. More than you yet realize. Your madness allows you to glimpse the truth of this existence. To see through the shadowy veil into the world beyond. On your head, an iron crown, and the jester dances before you. Mm. Be cautious when speaking of these visions. Truth is rarely welcomed by those who cannot see it. There are many kindred who will be less, shall we say... Accepting of it than I am. Tell me your name, Wizard King. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Um. Tell me of. Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Uh, memory's rarely a gift of the schizophrenic. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Withered horse rate, whatever. It seems that disease is so spreading upset. at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Dirty blood is our doom. Yes, indeed. Hold on, hold on. I am looking for something real quick. Uh, quick, quick save. Where's quick save? Uh, skip cutscene. Quick load. Quick save is F9. Okay. Continue. Sorry, dude. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for I don't care. Their I don't. I could not care less right now. Often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. You're, I don't care about you. I am so sorry. I will come back for you later, dude. It's just, like I said, I don't really care. Ah! We gotta go this way? I have a feeling. Oh my fucking god. Do I gotta go this way? What's in here? What's here? What is? There's a book! Can I read the book? Uh, duh, duh, inventory. Inventory. Give me in my inventory. Oh. Stuff about. Gargoyles and humunculi? 
I think that's how you say it. I'm going upstairs. Oh damn. That's just a mailbox for Cemetery runoff congealing. For nobody. The door. Leave me alone. Okay, where's the taxi? Okay, taxi guy. Taxi man. Where is you at? Here you are. Okay, we're gonna go deal going with... I am so upset that I made nines mad. After like every quest, I'm going to go Where's back the to the bro? people, to the anarchs. I'm gonna go back to the anarchs and I'm gonna let them know my dirty little secrets, you know? And let them know what hap what's hap what's the haps. Oh, are they all gone? The police are gone. Intrigued. To let me go down. Let me downstairs! Oh god, I'm itchy. Hold on. There we go. Someone is calling my house! Giggling like that. Y'all are still here. Wait, hold on. Contact Nines after finishing talk to him. Report back to the prince. Ah! So that was my doctor, I think, on the phone, right? Apparently needs that I gotta... I think that I... Shut up! I've gotta make an appointment with my doctor. But... Go. Okay, I'm, I'm going to Second Street. So I'm trying to get my where to Adderall renewed. And apparently I got a... I forgot that I haven't been to the doctor in a long time. Oh my god! Fucking believe that I am doing this for the moment.
Let me upstairs, please. Oh my god, let me just go upstairs! Can I press the button? Do I have to wait? This is some um, tall ceilings, man. These are like three, four story tall. Okay, police giving up. Great. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. Go on up and see Mr. LeCroix. Great. I hate you. Give the Anarch community my regards. Done. Blah, blah, if I may woof, give you a piece woof. of advice, always listen to others' words carefully. Read between the lines, gauge where you stand with them and who they decry or exalt. The more you know about someone, the greater your advantage. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the yeah. game. Yeah. Um... I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Um... Questions of faces, seeing faces... Yes. Wolf. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Uh, I can wait till my return. I just want to know a little bit about uh, what's his face, and these ceilings are high as hell. I am just ready to go to the Dane. I feel awful, though. Like, why did I have to be mean to Dines? <coughs> Still not there. Is he waiting for the cop to disappear? I don't know. I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Um, yeah, let's go to Santa Monica. Not Santa Claus, so. Just of the Monica's variety. Lovely evening. I didn't beat the shit out of the car, thank God. Gonna take them more time to get to me. Oh my god, why is it still not here? Tell him when you're ready to go. There's a cat. I cannot stand the crow. This is why I can't stand him! <laughs> he, he doesn't get fucking cues. He doesn't pick up on the cues. I'm ready. I'm going. Why don't I just... Can I swim? I feel like swimming would be more useful than fucking LaCroix right now. LaCroix, I hate you. I'm 
so tired. This is gonna be like the last thing. Hop in. Okay, ribbit. I'm gonna end up hitting the car again. Cops are gonna be. Hey, I don't know what I did. LaCroix, I'm ready. I can't fucking stand you. Try the corpse in the oven. With yeah, the you first go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Uh, cool. Uh, cover me, Tubbs. LaCroix! Just get the thing ready for me! I Jesus can't Christ! The urgency of this task enough. Um. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Fucking finally. Okay. Can't fucking stand looking at ya. Boom. Going somewhere? Yeah! I'm trying to go to the Elizabeth Dane! But your boss is kind of an asshole! And Good I evening. upset nines! God damn! I hate it here! I swear to God, if the boat is somehow not there now, even though he gave me verbal confirmation that the boat is there, I need to feed on somebody, like, now. I'm, like, halfway down on blood. Um. Shall I go to Main Street? Is there somebody there? No, let me check 2nd Street. This is, like, probably the most painful way to get into a goddamn... Hold on, 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 hold on. It's a nice night out, huh? Stop right there! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Fuck, when was my last save? Hold on, hold on, when was my last save? Six minutes ago, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Gotta make sure that I actually fucking talk to him this time. But I still I do need food. Like really bad. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Okay. Uh, uh, cover me, Tubbs! Uh, uh, uh. I can't stress the urgency I know. of this task enough. I'm always ready to go. I'm Let's counting on an go. encore exposition of the talent you should... Good. I... Yes, I'm aware. Do you guys... Can you tell that I don't like this fucker? Need a ride. Once I'm done with this goddamn task, I am gonna take off. I'm not even gonna tell LaCroix about it. Oh my so, god. It's a nice night out, huh? Is there anyone taking a piss right now? Anyone over here? Just taking a leak. I can make this guy not follow you anymore. Mm. 
Oh my god, go somewhere else. Oh my god. Why do they huddle together? I don't understand. I need food. And I don't want to feed on the homeless, Pop. Like, damn. Okay, I'm feeding on you. At least it wasn't a masquerade violation. <sighs> I can't fucking stand these people. Let me eat. Gib food. Hi, hey, hey. <gasps> what the fuck ever, I... <sighs> You know what? It's not a fucking ma- or it's a masquerade violation, but at least it's not a criminal one! I have plenty of chances to redeem the masquerade, right? Hold on, how much money do I have? Hey, babe. How desperate am I- Oh, I got some blood right here. Use. Maybe you need company? No. I'm going to the beach. my life I almost want to wait till tomorrow to, to do the Elizabeth day now like is that too much to ask like or is that like at this point I'm like struggle busting through it oh here's Curio though hey you hey what can I say I can't fucking see you, you. It's my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything and I want you to know I take care of those who do me it's favors right so from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. You sure? How fleet your feet, Mercury. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. You sure about that one? I need some nasty little toys. How much is the art? How much is that? I can sell that. And I think I can sell the knife. I can pick those back up on the streets. Um. Damn. Then why did I give those to you if they were worth so much? Do I want to start on it? Like, dude, hold on. How long have I been going? I almost want to start it tomorrow now. Because it's taken me so long to get from point A to point It took me like 15 minutes to even start a task. And now the task is not even worth it anymore. Like, fuck, dude. I've got other things I can do. Do you know what sucks? Getting sunburn on your feet, right? And then you wear, like, boat shoes or something to the beach. And then you end up getting sand in your shoes or like worse you're wearing flip-flops and then um you know you get sand between your feet and the flip-flops and it's just that sand is just rubbing as hard as it can against your fucking sunburned feet that is the actual embodiment of being the worst that is actually the worst and you're probably all thinking, why does she even care right now? What is she even talking about? I don't know. Let me live my life. And there goes a criminal violation. Just gonna chill out. there. 
there a way to go into the well, where am I now? I guess I can't look at that map. I want to see how to get into LaCroix's place, because I know you can get into LaCroix's place. You are here. Where is... Venture... Or Venture Towers is... Where's six? So, like... Behind? No. Hold on here. Yeah, behind me, I think. I yeah, no, it's not behind me. It's Okay, so I go through F. It's that way. I don't know. Where am I? See, yeah, it's at like the catacorn, but at this point, I just want to go home. I feel like this is a great place to stop. I know we really didn't get anything done today, but I was just struggle busting. I'm tired. I gotta go make doctor's appointments now. I've gotta go. But I hope everybody enjoyed today's stream. You know where to find me if you did. If you didn't, then that sucks for you. No! Uh, let me... Is it still going? Where is... Why is this frozen? Okay. Okay, we're still good. Okay, so... Bye!